Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm uh, going to quickly show you how to use JavaFX 11 since Java 11 came out very recently and as you know JavaFX is no longer part of the Oracle JDK so you have to use it um, as a library. I'm going to use IntelliJ, I'm going to show you the automated um, way because there are basically two ways you can get JavaFX 11 um, into your project either automated Maven Gradle or uh, manual and all, both of these um, ways are described on um, the Gluons OpenGFX initiative project. So um, in IntelliJ, go to New Project, select SDK 11, select Java Project, Next, Next, and you can name the project anything you want, really. Yes. Um, Okay, get rid of this. So this is exactly what you're going to get and you shouldn't have that, you shouldn't have that. So you'll probably see just source in there. Now what we're going to do is add framework support Maven or Gradle if you're using Gradle. And then use this project object model that you can download from the link in the description, which basically gives you the kind of super set of what you need. So group ID, um, artifact ID, I'm just going to set this so it matches the repository name. Anything else? Uh, you don't need FXGL. If you do need FXGL, uh, then that's how you add it. That's pretty much the same as if you were using Java 8 or um, Java 9, 10. Dependencies for JavaFX are these. So this one is the base, or well, kind of basic one uh, that you might need. The other is just add extra functionality if you use them. So media, playing audio files and such, graphics, drawing, um, FXML, FXML, not FXGL. Uh, that's for loading your UI components. Then two plugins, one for the compiler, make sure to set source integrity 11 and this is also important this version and that thing will allow you to run your programs so go to Java create a package test FX app oh, I shouldn't have done that uh, how do I rename this that's the package name. FX app is the is the file name. There we go. So at this point, your project should see all JavaFX stuff. So you can do this. Set scene, new scene, new uh, pane. Let's set eight by six hundred. Stage show. Now, at this point, if you just run this from IntelliJ, this will fail, saying runtime components were not found. I don't know if there's a workaround to this because that would be a lot easier and faster, I suppose. But there is a way to um, enable running from IntelliJ using Maven. Make sure your main class leads to what you've just created to this. So package is exactly the same. The class name is exactly the same. Then go to uh, view tool windows Maven projects, which will open up this window. Go to um, what are we creating? Nope. Uh, let's do this. Um, go to exec, exec Java, right click, create. This will um, prompt a window to create a kind of custom run command, which you can do compile so that it compiles first once you make changes. Then execute Java and take this palm file. Apply, okay, which creates a new run configuration. Um, 
which says basically that so you won't need anything else now if you double click on this this should now compile and run doesn't contain a main method okay we'll create main method it should you should now be able to run um, from IntelliJ as you would normally run your projects by just clicking this run button okay so it's happy with um, um, with this main thing right so this is basically it this is how you can run JavaFX applications under Java 11 using the Maven or Gradle um, dependency management tools. So uh, I suppose I'll just add FXGL so that I don't have to make a separate video for it. So just add FXGL as a normal dependency. Replace FX app with game application. So you no longer need this. Init settings, settings, set title, FXGL on JavaFX 11. Run. Okay, cool. So it runs as it's supposed to. And the title is changed, which means when you run this, it actually recompiles what you have. Okay, cool. So in this video, uh, we've downloaded the JavaFX 11 library using Maven. And you can see that all the JavaFX stuff is now visible. And that is it. This is, um, this is how you run JavaFX 11 on Java 11 um, under IntelliJ. And I think this is how it's going to be because JavaFX is no longer part of Oracle JDK. I don't think they'll be bringing it back um, unless they change their mind for some reason. Right, so I'm going to video, uh, I'm going to end the video now and um, there are two more things, two more videos I'm going to create. One on design patterns and the other one, I think, on functional programming as stated in the YouTube polls. Right, thanks for watching.